Hi, I'm Seth, and I'm a student reporter for the National World War II Museum's electronic field trip on manufacturing victory. I'm here in Richmond, California at the Rosie the Riveter Historical Park, a park made to honor, preserve, and interpret the legacy of home front workers, especially women, during World War II. Prior to World War II, women rarely worked outside of the home, and those who went to work did so out of necessity. Those who did worked in jobs that were seen as more feminine, like housekeeping and secretarial work. With the start of World War II, however, women were encouraged to and applauded for going to work and did so in jobs that women had never been seen in before, like factory work. In 1940, before the United States entered World War II, only 25% of women in the United States worked outside the home. But by 1944, that number grew to 37%. Women faced discrimination from those who felt that they shouldn't be doing this kind of work. Discrimination of women in the workforce was also evident in their salary. For example, in factories without government contracts that mandated equal pay, skilled women workers were paid on an average of $31 a week, where a man of the same skill set made about $55 a week. Despite this continued discrimination, women went to work and did so in record numbers. What do you think would be some of the reasons women went to work in factories and defense industries during World War II? How do you think that the discrimination women faced impact the jobs they were doing? Do you think that these women would continue to work in these jobs after the war was over? Why or why not?